Inflation's affecting just about everybody. It's even affecting the places people turn to when they hit hard times. News 5's Caitlin Hunt explains how inflation is just one of several things affecting a Worcester nonprofit. Worcester's People to People Ministries prides itself on being able to provide people with just about everything they need, including clothing, food, and even housing. But recently, the ministry has had to turn away some clients. At the beginning of the month, the ministry announced it was out of money for its rental assistance program. Yeah. Director Joe Zecker says two factors impact the need they're seeing right now. First, inflation. Rents have gone up substantially in Wayne County. So something that used to cost $700 a month is now $1,200 to $1,400 a month. And that takes a big toll on folks. And we're seeing a lot of new clients. Plus, October is a tricky time when it comes to federal assistance, which affects the budgets of people who need help. Zecker says summer programs have ended and winter programs haven't started. So there's a gap in help. And that means people need more money for rent and utilities. The newer folks that are having struggles are not aware of that so they did not save up for this time of the year and so that's a bigger struggle too. Everything from the shed uh, if it's clothing and it creates a struggle for people to people ministries. The organization relies on public donations to serve the several thousand people it serves in Wayne County. Zecker says it's been hard having to turn people away but he's been working with local landlords to get his clients more time to pay their rent. We can contact if it's a week or two away we can see if they can wait to receive funds from us and that's what works sometimes. In addition, overall, people have been giving less, which affects other operations too. It's gone down a lot just because of probably cost. They can't afford to donate like they used to. Volunteers That's Teresa really Markley and that. Kathy Sigler say like everyone else, they felt the price hikes firsthand. It's probably about the same. Maybe it costs more now because they need more money instead of the less. But Zecker says there's reason for hope. Other federal programs kick in next month, and since word got out about the ministry's needs, community support has been coming in. We had a number of people that donated for financial, so we, you know, that's great. This is a very tremendous community that always gives when there, when there is a need. The ministry believes these depleted funds should only last this month, but they still need some donations. If you'd like to help out, check out the link on our website. In Worcester, Caitlin Hunt, News 5.